Hey guys, Pridgy here. In this video, we're going to create uh, these uh, four gift cards from scratch uh, using Figma. So by the end of it, you're going to learn how to create uh, something very similar. And I also want to remind you that I recently launched uh, a discount on my Figma course, which is going to be available only for the next 48 hours. So feel free to check it out in the link in the description. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, we're back in Figma and uh, we're going to start by creating a rectangle shape. And uh, this is going to be similar to the size of a credit card. So we're just going to create something around those lines. And uh, we're going to start by adding a little bit of a border radius so that uh, it looks like a real card. And uh, we're also going to add a effect, specifically a drop shadow, which is going to kind of uh, give us a nice uh, feeling uh, right off the bat. So we have some uh, um, differentiation from the actual background. And we're going to turn it down just a little bit so that we don't, uh, we're not going to make this drop shadow too prominent. Now at this point, uh, I'm just going to make uh, this card black for the time being, uh, simply because we want to focus uh, on uh, the main areas. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, start typing some uh, numbers. And as you can see, the text is black, so we need to make this white. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to type some random numbers and uh, Let's do it like that and we're going to just add one more line simply because I don't want to accidentally add some number that do exist. I mean, this is all fictional, but yeah, you get the point. And let's move on and let's create the actual card, which is going to have some elements on the bottom side. and. These are going to be the um, card holder name and we're going to make it uh, smaller. Um, you can also use uh, a font which uh, you feel is going to be similar to the one of a card. It really depends on the uh, effect that you want and uh, I want to basically work around that. and. Uh, Let's make this one just a little bit bigger. So we have this nice uh, differentiation between uh, this value right here and uh, the um, actual element text element below. And let's duplicate this one more time. I'm going to write expiry date. I'm going to write 0226. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a MasterCard icon. So I'm going to use Nucleo Icons, which uh, is a free icon management software. And uh, you can find it on Google by simply looking for uh, Nucleo Icons. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop this icon, but I'm going to deep select using command this rectangle. I'm simply going to delete it since uh, I just need the, the uh, two circles. As you can see, as I'm increasing the size, I'm uh, going to be constrained by this frame. So I'm going to simply unframe it. And uh, you can do this uh, uh, by simply using uh, Shift Command G. As you can see, no frame is applied anymore. All right, this point can simply put this one here. And uh, I'm going to add uh, uh, a logo, which uh, is going to be the Amazon logo. So let's go over here, search on Google for Amazon logo. Since we're going to pretend that this is a Amazon gift card, and I'm going to write uh, PNG white, See if we can find something that uh, uh, works uh, for our specific needs. Maybe this one. This one has is not uh, transparent, and uh, what we want is a transparent one. This has uh, a 
actually, I think this one could be the one that we're searching for. Yep, high resolution, uh, very big and uh, transparent as we like. So simply going to bring this uh, over here and uh, what uh, we're gonna do is so going to make it smaller and we're going to add a card name, which uh, let's pretend is a gift card and let's make it uh, black. Let's increase the size just a little bit. And I think that uh, the font that we're currently using, which is Lato, is working pretty well. Let's uh, increase a little bit the letter spacing between uh, the uh, card letter names. And uh, yeah, overall, I think this is uh, pretty interesting and uh, looking uh, solid. Let's increase just a little bit more. And uh, I would say at this point, uh, what we can do is we can save this as a copy. We could uh, potentially make it uh, a component and then uh, uh, create different instances of this card. So as you can see, we have the, com the main component here, and then here's the instance. And uh, now we would uh, actually go ahead uh, and create the different versions of this card uh, with uh, different gradients. So as you can see, the moment that we start adding uh, some uh, uh, gradients to this, uh, we can create some really interesting looking uh, effects. Uh, and uh, this is a very classic one. You can also add, uh, for example, um, lines in, in the middle or, or different color combinations uh, so that you can create uh, uh, some even more diversified uh, effects uh, and uh, yeah overall this gives us quite a bit of flexibility now one thing that i'm noticing is that I'd rather have these white since they're going to look better just like that and uh, at this point we can also experiment with uh, different shapes so for example we can go ahead and uh, create uh, some uh, shapes such as this one right here you can bring it or actually since it's not uh, a shape which is going since it's, this is um, an instance we need to actually detach it in order to update this uh, inside and i think i'm gonna do that uh, in order to leverage uh, the shape first of all i'm going to just make it a little bit bigger maybe uh, lower the opacity just a bit also maybe change uh, the shape so it's a bit more linear and uh, at this point what i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to go ahead and use the mask tool as you can see if i do it in this way um, it's not uh, going to work so what i need to do is uh, essentially well, first of all, I'm going to create uh, all sorts of different other shapes. So we can have uh, some uh, different, uh, um, almost like a group uh, of elements that we can leverage to add a little bit of more dynamism to this card. And uh, what you can do afterwards uh, is uh, even if that shape is not working out, uh, uh, you can create a duplicate, and then use this mask. As you can see now, it's uh, tidy. So we have the basic rectangle below, which is this one with the gradient. Then I created a second rectangle, grouped uh, all of these these lines uh, and shapes together, and then I created this uh, variation. So this is a way that you can uh, go after it. Now let's create uh, one more uh, gift card. Let's create some some variations. So. This is something that you're likely going to do quite often whenever you're uh, dealing with uh, uh, this type of projects. And as you can see, I didn't select the base shape, so I was modifying uh, things which didn't really have uh, any effect. And uh, let's go ahead. Let's change this to 
something around these lines. Let's give it more of a blue tint to this card. And as you can see, I can even like reuse the, the shapes which uh, I created. And uh, I can also move around with uh, the horizontal and vertical um, options so that uh, I can literally use the same uh, visual style, if you wish, but creating variations uh, in no time, which have uh, pretty much the same feeling. So even something around these lines could be quite interesting. Well, let's create uh, another version, which uh, is going to be more towards a green. And again, I was doing the same uh, mistake. Uh, let's go over here. <coughs> let's make this one uh, more of a, I wouldn't say, I'm gonna make this card as uh, visually strong if you wish, but I'm, tr I'm trying to find like the, the theme here. I don't want to go too overboard with this. Let's actually simplify. <clears throat> and let's go over here. And we're going to just use two colors for the specific uh, card. We're going to change the things up with uh, the shapes. And instead of having these um, uh, these ellipses, we're actually going to go and create uh, a circle. Let's make it two. And let's decrease the opacity again, but it's similar to the other ones. And I'm actually going to bring this uh, ellipse in here, remove the other vertical elements. And I'm going to essentially create a, I'm actually thinking about a, something like this could be interesting. And then we're going to basically work around some different ideas for this. Let's increase the size. Let's duplicate it just a few times. And now we're going to basically work around with this uh, concept uh, right here. And maybe just increasing this uh, size. Could be good. Even something around these lines, uh, I think, uh, would work well all together. All right, now let's uh, go ahead and let's create uh, another version. And this one is going to have more of a green tint to it. So let's go over here. Let's select the green color. Going to apply it also also here. We're going to just change up uh, the intensity so that it's not uh, too prominent uh, and still readable overall. Um, this point, what we're gonna do is we're going to increase this one just a bit. We're just going to have this uh, line uh, going through this section of the card. Maybe another one which is smaller, more squished, going towards uh, the 
very left. And as you can see, this is not uh, inside of the actual shape. So it was overlaying also this, uh, this other one right here. And probably what I want to do also here is to just increase the size just a little bit. Hmm. Not too sure about, uh, about this. Well, let's leave it as it is for the time being and then we're going to adjust uh, maybe in a future video. So this is pretty much it. Uh, hope you enjoyed uh, <coughs> this tutorial and uh, I'll uh, see you in the very next uh, video.